In this video, I'll show you how to get a heater core out of a 96 Chevy S10. This is going to be the 4x4 model V6 uh, extended cab. I will tell you right off the bat that I already had troubles finding the exact heater core. Um, the reason for that is supposedly the parts store is telling me that because of the extended cap, it's different. And well, it is different because I uh, went down to the parts store, they said they had it. I looked at it, it wasn't correct. Um, on this particular model, the tubing is overlapped one over top the other. The one that they were showing me was side by side and that was not going to work so i went ahead and had to order that special order that um through the internet so be very sure that they've given you the right part right off the bat uh, as mentioned it's going to be the 96 chevy s10 4x4 v6 um i will show you how to uh, remove the heater core everybody is telling me that it is extremely difficult to do this and it is not if I can do this you can do this so um, you know I asked for a quote um, they quoted me anywhere between 900 and 1000 I did this in a matter of three hours I'm actually currently still waiting for the heater core uh, it's gonna take a couple days to get here but that's the reason I had the opportunity to make this video um, but it's very doable right now everything is off and taken apart I'm just waiting to, for the heater core to come in so I could put it in. I will make another video of uh, the installation and possibly even putting everything back together. Um, but in the meantime, I will show you what I did. Uh, may not work for you, may not work for, uh, may not even be right, but it worked for me. Um, first of all, I went ahead and dis, uh, disassembled the positive. Um, some people say you can do both. I just went ahead and did the positive. Not a big deal. Um, took that off. Um, first and foremost, um, some people even said you have to remove the coolant. I uh, had no uh, reason to remove coolant from it. So I didn't get any leaks. I put a towel there and uh, um, I got a little bit of fluid down there, but it wasn't anything major. So you're not going to make a complete disaster down there. So don't remove the fluid. That's just extra work for you. Oh, and I guess I should mention why I'm removing the heater core. The reason I'm removing the heater core is because it is leaking drastically. It is hot. Where I'm at right now, it's about 100 degrees in the 90s. Um, it started to overheat one day, and I was like, well, what's going on here? I didn't have any engine coolant. Um, looked around. I managed to find out that I had a leak. Um, matter of fact, I had a puddle. That's the reason for the towel. I had a puddle uh, in my passenger side. Um, it could be either side, passenger side or driver side uh, floor under my floor mat. Um, I had a nice little puddle down there and I didn't had no idea why. So I started looking up um, all the fine details of everything um, that it has to do with uh, the coolant and, you know, the cooling and the heating of the vehicle. So the only thing that's actually back there is the heater core. Um, so 90% of the time it's either going to be one of these two hoses leaking. Um, into your cab um, and that's where the heater core comes out or it's going to be your actual heater core uh, leaking which was in fact in this case that's what it was um, so I guess since I'm over here I'll show you the two tubing you're gonna have to remove these two um, I didn't remove these I actually did these last so if you want to remove these last that would you know it doesn't really matter it's up to you um, that's where your heater core tubing is going to come out um, right back there that those two little slots uh, some other videos uh, maybe different models or something they were saying that it was like extremely hard to get the bolts off and the nuts and everything like that no it was extremely easy it popped right out I'll show you here in a second some people had like ripping this apart and all this other stuff and like I said it may be different makes and models it may be right for that make and model but not for this 96 Chevy s10 um, so that's, uh, since I'm over here, I went ahead and show you that. Uh, these are the two tubings you'll have to remove. I removed those last time. Um, doesn't, I guess it doesn't really matter, but I removed those last. Now for the fun stuff. For the heater core removal, you will need to dismantle the dash. Um, this looks like a complete disaster. And well, yeah, it kind of is, but 
Um, it's a very uh, coordinated disaster, if you will. Um, uh, let's see, where do I start here? I'll give you an idea of what it's kind of looking like here. Some of the tools you'll need. Um, all right so now you kind of have an idea of what it's kind of looking like it will be a bit of a mess but you know it's it's really not not hard by any means so first thing you want to do is there's a bunch of i believe it's seven millimeter uh little screws let me see if i could find one here for you a bunch of these um underneath your dash and above your dash um i guess since i'm up here you're gonna to have to take your stereo off. You're gonna to have to take your uh, vent off of here. You will have to take your other stereo uh, cover off as well. Um, there's gonna be one, two, three, and four way over there. Um, that'll be it for the top. Um, I went ahead and take the glove box off because I really hadn't didn't know what I was doing. Um, you will actually need to remove it uh, because you have this little. I believe this is your like your light for your glove box. I believe. Um, so that connection is there. Um, if you pull on that, you're gonna rip it off. So go ahead and take your glove box off. Uh, you know, I like to tape all of my uh, connections so I know where they're at, and I actually mark them because I'm very forgetful. It's something that I learned over the years. Um, and especially knowing since I will have to wait a week, about a week uh, for my heater core to come in because it's special order, um, you know, it's great to mark your stuff, uh, and name them. So I did that with a lot of my stuff, um, so I don't get, um, so I don't forget. So I went ahead and took those off. I'll show you how to remove the, uh, the glove box here. Bear with me here kind of did this last minute but this will be a a full detail uh, on how to remove your heater core dash and everything else so sorry about all the movement here so you're gonna have two screws right here um, don't forget about them. Those are gonna sit right up there. Um, you will have four at the bottom. This is gonna be this is your glove box, okay? So you open it up and it and it sits like this, right? So what you will need is one, two, three, and four screws. I believe they're seven millimeter. I'm not sure. They're looking. They're gonna look exactly like this. You're gonna take those four off. Um, you're gonna take these two top ones off right here. From there, you will need to disconnect this connector, which I had explained. If you don't, um, you will pull on that connector and possibly uh, rip that off. So here's your glove box. From there, um, you're gonna have. It's gonna be similar to your top pieces right here um let's see if i can put pop this back up here so that's actually where the heater core sits in there i know it's kind of hard to see but um you're gonna have several screws underneath as well um it's gonna be similar to this i mean it's gonna be no different um there are all these small seven millimeters you take all of them off there's a bunch of plastics that come off um you will need to, I'm not sure if you will need to, but I went ahead and uh, moved my AC and my stereo. Um, like I said, just screws and screws right in there. Um, the other thing is you will need to take off your, well, maybe, <coughs> your key that plastic that goes around the key here um 
looks like this and that just pops off with a flathead uh, you just literally slide it off um, you will need to have uh, your key in there to move this down to take out the odometer um, the odometer is actually was probably the trickiest thing to get off here um, because it has I believe four little screws that you take out but it wouldn't come out um, therefore making it much harder uh, to remove that odometer that's actually might have been the trickiest part um, because what I had to do is remove this right here your turn signal um, and the way I did that was there's a screw here and a screw up here okay and those are actually gonna be different so you're gonna have to kind of look around and see what that is but um, like I said there's this one and this one this one's actually a tricky one because you have to uh, unscrew this one first to get access to that second one um, and the way to do that is you actually turn your steering wheel until one of these holes aligns with that um, that screw and that's the only way to get that out um, but you will need to remove this to get the odometer off of there because it's there's no way possible um, you will need to remove uh, your lights lighting connectors and stuff like that um, and that's fairly straightforward uh, it just kind of pops out as the whole dash uh, or this piece of plastic comes off here that should all pop off fairly easy um, and it's gonna sit in it's gonna sit in some these little these little things right here I don't know if I can get in there and get enough okay there we go yeah so the whole dash is gonna be sitting on this okay so you're gonna have to lift the dash up and um, possibly lift it up at the same time both sides preferably and then it'll pop right out as long as you have like I mentioned all these little screws that are in here um, like this one I'm not... so anyways my camera's just not focusing in um, but you get the idea they're gonna be all these little uh, black uh, screws underneath here which you're gonna have to remove all that stuff and it, it's it seems like a lot but it's really not um, basically any little screws you see down there um, you'll need to remove all right while I'm down here um, there is as you can see the steering wheel is loose you have to uh, loosen these two bolts to to be exact I got them right here these are the ones I actually had no idea and I uh, forgot I was having troubles because the dash wouldn't come up it seemed like I had all the screws um, but these are gonna be um, see if I can get in there I'll try to make another video of this I know this is kind of sketchy video but this is gonna be a bit of a rough draft to what I'm gonna make um, there's gonna be these bolts right underneath there that's actually holding the dash in and that's holding the steering wheel up um, there's gonna be two of them on each side of the steering wheel and since I have the socket here it is going to be 15 millimeter um, that's what you're gonna need to remove those that's actually the last ones you will need to remove and then it should pop right out so um like i said you got to remove your glove box you got to remove your glove box your stereo your ac controls and you know just unscrew everything um i think it's seven millimeter you know it'll vary a little bit there's a i think a 6.5 underneath of there um odometer remove that to remove that if you're having troubles getting it out of there You'll have to remove this. Was this was pretty tricky to remove, um, as mentioned. There was a screw up here and a screw right here. You have to remove this screw first to get to that one, and turn the steering wheel uh, to be able to get a a extension in there. Um, and I believe it may have been, you know, a really small extension. 
um, to get in there. It's kind of difficult. Um, remove your lighting con connectors here. That's fairly easy. That should all come off with uh, this one single individual dash piece on this 96 Chevy S10. Um, let's see what else, what else, what else here. Um, uh, let's kind of give you an idea here of what we're kind of working with. Oh yes, and when you take off this uh, this individual dash piece, that's where the odometer fits in right here. Um, do not forget to take the connector off of the 4x4. It's the individual connector to the 4x4. It'll fit right back in there. Okay, so don't forget to take that one off because it might still be having a little bit of troubles. To get this off, uh, you put the key in and then you uh, probably, like I have some bricks down there. There's some blocks down there of wood, um, so my vehicle doesn't roll back. But um, to do that, you have to put the um, the shifter at the very bottom position, and it's actually in there right now. So this is at the very bottom position to be able to get uh, this out without breaking it. Um, those two connectors for the lights that I showed you, they fall right back in there. Um, Oh, you will actually have to take off your cigarette um, port as well. Uh, these are the speaker covers. Actually, you don't have to take the speakers off. I think it's just the covers, but don't quote me on that. That's different for every vehicle, maybe. Um, and these are the screws you will need to take off the, for the vehicle. These are actually like hex, I think, or something like that. But yeah, like I said, this is totally doable. Um, before removing, um, I believe maybe even before removing this dash cover, this plastic right here, you will have to remove your steering column cover, which would sit right in there. That's why it looks so bare. So here it is. Um, I had a little difficulty. That's where your uh, emergency button would sit. I had a little difficulty because this was actually different. As you can see, this doesn't like just pop out or anything it actually slides so don't force it don't break it um, you just slide it out um, before that you have to remove your key uh, plastic before you do that so the key key plastic this thing you said it slides in slides in just like that um, yeah like I said don't don't break it you will also have to remove your uh, steering wheel adjuster this thing you'll have to remove that before you remove your steering wheel cover and this i didn't have no idea how to take it off either but if you wiggle it enough it comes right out so you just kind of as you can see has a little, a little notch there so it kind of sits in there it's made to remove real easily so you know that pops right back in there real easily um there's your vent ac vent um and you can just take most of this stuff off with like a flathead um, and just pry it open gently. That's what I did. Um, let's see here. What else do we need here? Okay, so most importantly for the heater core, it actually sits in a individual compartment, which um, was the actual compartment where the leakage was coming from as you can see clearly the heater core was leaking because of the uh, coolant residue um, this square is gonna sit right up in there just like that okay so it's gonna sit just like that um, that's gonna be underneath the dash um, after you rule it you'll be able to see that um, give me one second here So to remove this heater core cover, um, you will have, and you could actually do this, this before you start taking the dash apart. Um, take these bottom screws off here. There's gonna be one, two, three, four, five, possibly. Um, 
the rest of these you can get once you roll the dash. So just get your bottom ones out first. I think that's like seven, five millimeters, something like that. Um, this is actually gonna sit right under the dash like this. Um, so once you roll the dash, which like I said, it's not hard, it's doable. You will go ahead and get right back underneath here. I actually put like a little log in here. As you can see, it's right there. Help me uh, lift the dash up. And um, you can get you can get in there with your socket um, to get the rest of these out. Should be I broke that one off. Does not matter. Um, but there's gonna be one there, two, and three. Once you get those off of there, it should slide right out. Um, possibly move it to the right a little bit, then pops right out. Um, Let's see, what else are we missing here? What else are we missing? This thing right here. This should pop right out. Um, this is gonna be your cover here. It's gonna sit right in there. Um, to my understanding, it should pop right out just with a flathead. Um, so it's gonna sit right in there. And finally, I would like to give you an idea where the heater core actually sits. Um, I did not remove anything else. Um, you know, I seen, I showed you, you know, what I kind of removed here. That's going to be my four by four. You know, I didn't disconnect any of this stuff. My stereo is still intact. I disconnected my lights over there because I absolutely had to. Um, and finally, give me one second here just to uh, lift this dash up so I can give you a good idea of where my, where my uh, heater core was sitting. So give me just a second here. Okay, so like I said, I'm not I'm not using any special crazy tools here, you know. This is gonna this is gonna help me pry it up uh, because once you unhook these from there, your dash is rolled. You're ready to go. Uh, as long as you have actually now I can show you here. Um, so yeah, you'll have all your little screws right along here. This is where they're gonna sit. Boom, right there. You know my camera's not the best here, so. You know, there's gonna be a bunch underneath here. You remove this plastic cover that's underneath here. Simple, you know, you just find the black, the little black screws and you remove them. Uh, your heater core is gonna sit right up in here. That's where it's gonna sit. That plastic black cover will come off and it's gonna sit right in here. Um, fortunately, the camera is kind of lacking in definition here but um, your uh, heater core is gonna have one two two more up top uh, it's gonna be uh, holding it there it's gonna be these thin aluminum uh, straps almost if you want if you will um, one two three and four and once you loosen those the heater core should be ready to come out um, I don't think I'm missing much else. I know the video is a little bit vague. Um, I did this kind of last minute, got my little baby out here, um, kind of struggling with me and helping me out. But I figure it, you know, it give you a real, a real rough idea of kind of what you're looking for. It's not difficult, you know, you can do it. Um, and if I can do it, you know, it's, it's really not that hard. You just gotta have a little basic knowledge um, and the will to, to want to. Um, so I know I know it's vague um, questions or concerns uh, shoot me a message in the comments um, Whatever you need to uh, subscribe and like the video so I know to put out that um, that next video um, But yeah, that's about the general idea of it um, Any questions let me know and we'll go from there. Uh, thanks